Hey guys, it's Grace um, from Gracie's Journey on Instagram. I hope all you guys are having a wonderful weekend so far. Um, so I'm really excited about this video because I finally get to put the title as How I Lost 45 Pounds in 4 Months. So I'm really excited about that. Um, never thought I would actually get this far. Because normally um, I would probably like lose like 10 pounds and then eventually quit and I did it I kept going that's so freaking cray okay anyway so okay how did I lose 45 pounds in four months um, I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering how I did it um, and uh, it wasn't easy um, I just did it the natural way um, what did I do I exercised my booty off and I ate healthy and um, I, um, I, I work out um, six times a week and so I work out Monday through Saturday and then I have uh, then I have a rest day on Sundays and um, yeah it's been working out amazing so far and um, so yeah so I started off at 240 pounds and now I'm at 195 pounds. I'm in Wonderland. Ooh, ooh, so excited. So, okay, so how did I do it? Um, so, yeah, so it was completely difficult at the beginning. Um, so, yeah, so people always ask me, um, how was the very beginning, like, transitioning from, like, a bad lifestyle to a healthy lifestyle? And I just jumped right into it. Um, I didn't take any baby steps into it, which you definitely can. Um, but I just wanted to lose the weight already. I was already sick and tired of myself at being at the weight that I was. So, um, so yeah. So, uh, so yeah. So my husband and I ended up getting um, a treadmill, and it's a Norda Track, and it goes up to uh, 12 miles per hour, which I can't do. Um, and then um and it goes up and it goes uh 40 percent incline which is awesome i wanted to make sure that if we're going to be getting a treadmill uh here at home i wanted to make sure it was going to be a badass one and it was definitely worth our money and um also a weights machine and um so yeah so we ended up uh starting off by doing that um you know we did have like memberships and everything um to the gym but I was always so lazy to get dressed, making sure that, um, you know, I had, um, like the right, like clothes to wear and everything. And then the drive over there, I, it just didn't work for me. Um, and I've, you know, I've even had like personal trainers and everything and that went really well. But then after the three months that I had her, um, I just completely stopped and I gave up. So I thought that the only way that I was actually going to lose weight was by getting our own fitness equipment here at home. Um, so that's what I started doing. And then, um, so yeah, so for my workouts, what I started off doing was um, I would go on to, uh, I think it was um, like 20% incline, and then I would go 3.0 speed. And I was holding on to the bars just because it was my first time working out in a long time. So I wasn't going to go too crazy. So that's what I started off doing. Um, I was burning a lot of calories. And um, so yeah, so that workout was really helpful. Um, I would just keep, I would just stay on that for as long as I could. And then I would do like some weights, some, um, I would mostly do a lot of arm workouts, like working on my buys and tries. Um, I mainly was focusing um, on my arms just because my brother's wedding is coming up in this October, which is going to be, his wedding's in about a month and a half away. So, well, when I started, it was a lot longer, but I mainly wanted to focus on that because I have a bridesmaid's dress to fit into. But anyway, okay, so back to, back to how I lost it because I know you guys want to know. So, um, so yeah, so it was just all diet and, well, not diet, but just eating healthy and exercising. So that's, um, for exercising, that's what I started off doing was just really high incline and low speed, um, just because my feet would start hurting and I didn't want to go too crazy on that. Um, and then um, for food, um, like the first month I was eating, uh, I think it was, okay, so the first month I ate uh, Cheerios for breakfast, Cheerios for lunch, so the cereal. 
Um, and then at night I would have a chicken salad and I would do that. I was doing that for the full month and that was really hard to stick to. The only, so the way that I got into that was, um, just before I started my weight loss journey, um, I was looking onto YouTube, um, how do you, you know, how to lose a bunch of weight. So, and I found this girl on there and she, and her title was how I lost 40 pounds in two months. And that's what she did. Um, with workouts with um, you know with exercising so I got really sick of that real quick um, and I knew okay this isn't gonna be a healthy lifestyle I'm gonna get really bored of it eventually and I did after a month it was really hard to just eat cereal and salads but I did lose a lot of weight from it but I wanted to make sure that I'm having fun on my weight loss journey I didn't want to make it you know too strict or anything so I wanted to still somehow eat the things that I like but in a healthy way and that's what I ended up doing so you know I learned um, I learned that you can still eat what you love you just have to make it healthier so for example tacos um, I absolutely love tacos um, so what I so I'm, I'm sure if you guys follow me on Instagram you guys would be able to see what I how I make the tacos but it's basically um, just wheat tortillas and um, with ground turkey the extra lean from Jenny O so I'd use that and then um, and I'd put uh, light sour cream and lettuce and cheese the cheese wasn't like you know um, wasn't like light mozzarella or light like light bleh, light mozzarella or anything I was just putting you know whatever kind of cheese whatever worked for me um, but I do get a lot of people um, judging um, what I eat and what I should be eating um, for example like my chicken salads people will say that the lettuce that I use has no nutrients and that I eat a lot of carbs and blah 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 I mean a lot of people started being really mean on Instagram and I mean those comments can be very hurtful but um, it that just works for me um, I mean even people have said that I'm borderline anorexia I'm like or borderline anorexic I'm like are you kidding me do you not see all the food that I eat <laughs> so so yes yeah, so you got to make sure that you're that you're having fun on this journey and you're eating stuff you know you're eating tasty stuff you you don't want to get bored of it so um, another example um, like pizza um, you can still have your pizza um, but what I do is I just get a wheat bun like a wheat burger bun and I put um, uh, pizza sauce. Why can't I think of the word right now? Uh, oh my gosh, babe, what's the, what's that sauce? Babe, what's, what's that one pizza sauce? What's it called? Pizza sauce. What's it called? Marinara. Marinara. Okay. Oh my gosh. Too bad I can't edit this video. Okay. So <laughs> what a dumbass. Okay. So, so yeah, so a wheat bun, put some marinara on there, and then some mozzarella cheese, and then turkey pepperonis. Um, so yeah, so you can still have fun on, you know, on your weight loss journey. And that's what I'm trying to do. I, you know, on my Instagram, I try to let you guys know um, to not be too strict on yourselves, especially when you're first starting off, because you don't want to, you know, because eventually you'll get sick of it and you'll get annoyed and, you know, you're, you're going to want to end up quitting. So that's very important make sure that you're still eating the food that you love but make sure it's also portioned um, you can even go like the healthier way and instead of getting like light sour cream on your tacos you can do uh, Greek yogurt but I don't like the idea of that but you can do that um, but yeah I mean you, there's several ways that I can do it a lot healthier and everything but I just want to make sure that I'm not getting sick of it so I stick to those things um, so yeah so back to the workouts um, that's what I started off by doing um, high incline and low speed and um, so yeah so I didn't I didn't want to start off just by running because I would get really tired of it real quick but then eventually um, I worked up to being able to start jogging um, and so now what my workouts are like is um, I'll still go into my high incline but not um, I'll, I'll probably go to like 15% um, incline and then um, to like five miles per hour and try to jog on that and I'll do that 30 seconds on and 30 seconds off so to 30 seconds on and 30 seconds off um, a lot of people always ask me so what do you mean by off 
like do you do you just you know lower down the speed and just walk it out or do you completely jump off the treadmill so what I mean by that is I put my feet on the sides of the belt so you know there's like little sides right there so that's what I mean so so what I really like to do is I like to run really really fast um, let's say like 5% incline and then 7.5 miles per hour I do that for 30 seconds um, straight so I'm dying when I'm, I'm absolutely dying when I'm doing that for 30 seconds and then 30 seconds off so I just set my feet on the sides and that's what I really like to do um, and it keeps my heart rate up too so even when I'm resting um, it keeps it at least to 150 um, heart rate so I really like to do that um, and I just do that on and off on and off um, and I like to do that um, about five times and then once I'm done with that, then I would go on to um, working on weight. So I'd work on my arms, and then after I'm done doing that, then I'll jump right back onto cardio again. So I'll do that for about um, either uh, 45 minutes to an hour. And that's why I'm burning a shit ton of calories. So, because people are always surprised how many calories I'm burning, but it's because I'm always making sure that my heart rate is up. And that's why um, I always post up with my um, with my polar watch and a lot of people ask me about that and I definitely recommend that you get that it's amazing I absolutely love using it um, I like keeping track of my um, of my heart rate so so yes so at the beginning yeah it's really tough but you just have to you just have to keep going um, even if you have you know even if you like mess up like on a weekend you just have to get right back onto it again um, just like this weekend or tonight we went to Red Robin um, and I had a salad but like a cheat meal version salad I put a oh my gosh I put a ton of ranch on there and a bunch of buffalo sauce and I had french fries and I had onion rings yeah I screwed up but it's okay because it's my cheat meal and I deserve it um, but even if you feel like crap um, the next day you just have to jump right back onto it you can't even be thinking like oh my gosh I messed up now I'm just gonna give up no nope, you just gotta keep going and a lot of people always ask me how do you do that like how how do you stay motivated and it basically okay my main my main 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 thing of how I stay motivated is going to be Instagram I absolutely love Instagram um, again I'm, I'm sure I've already mentioned this before but um, if you don't have um, a fitness account you know uh, you know if you don't have an Instagram with with uh, just mainly for like your fitness or your weight loss journey make sure you do that is extremely extremely helpful um, lots of um, positive people on there sometimes there can be jerks and they completely ugh, I hate them I hate the, the haters out there but there's always gonna be jerks out there so anyway so just you just have to keep going um, um, a lot of people ask me too like how how do I stay oh I gotta stretch um, how do I stay positive when I am at a plateau um, yeah I get completely irritated I get frustrated because my scale isn't going down and it's you know there for like it's the same thing for like a week or two or three um, but you just again you just have to keep going um, you already know you're gonna reach a plateau just keep going you know everyone everyone has to expect that there's gonna be a plateau sometime throughout your journey um, but yeah just make sure you keep pushing yourself um, I don't even know where else, what else to say um, but yes this is a very important video and everything but I only have a minute left because this damn thing only lets me do 15 minutes I wish I had more time um, but yes if you're struggling keep going please I know exactly how it is in the beginning and it's extremely hard I know but don't restrict yourself make sure you're still eating the food that you love and but just make sure that the portions are smaller um, do whatever you can um, just make sure that you're staying positive too I never like to look at things negative if I'm not losing weight um, I just switch up my routine um, 
I guess that's all I've got to say. Um, if anything, if you guys have any questions, make sure you just leave them at the bottom. Um, and if you're not already following me on Instagram, please do. Um, for all of you 18,000 followers out there, I absolutely love you guys. You guys are awesome. If you guys haven't checked out my other YouTube video on my weight loss story, make sure you do. Um, that way you get to know me a lot more. Well, you guys have a great rest of the weekend. You guys have a good one.